Hello, would you like to control uh, your SML simulations with the joystick or include the hardware into the simulation? Here is the most uh, simple, at the same time, fast communication method uh, to achieve it out of the box. So here you see, I connected uh, the most simple joystick. It is uh, Shield, a dollar shield to the Arduino Uno directly sending uh, properties to Katia Magic Cameo see buttons react you see here directly You see how fast is this interface. R currently I'm running uh, 100 milliseconds uh, step size. We can try to do even smaller step size. Um, now how it works. So first of all, you can uh, take the sample uh, Arduino code, update it based on your project or just reuse it. You will find all the information in the community post. Then uh, we are also providing you with the FMU, uh, functional mockup interfaces, the way to communicate uh, with multiple tools. And in this case, we are listening for the UDP interface and you can get that uh, communication interface added to Katia Magic uh, just by exporting from the Mola. To export it, uh, we just click, uh, go to simulate go to the translate click fmu and we get this fmu generated we have the properties v, v2 and we get the properties and fmu is generated once fmu is generated uh, you go to katia magic you drag and drop this fmu here we have this fmu here we can uh, take a look how it looks like you would drag and drop it like that uh, and you see those inputs and I can attach it and once I click like that I get it here now I add it as part of simulation and I can execute now this FMU so what is the solution architecture here so let me go to the solution architecture let the simulation run you know we can uh, actually just uh, move this uh, or close this one so here we have um, stop the solution. We have Arduino or any other hardware, let's say ESP32 and so on, running the code. Here we have Katia Magic. Katia Magic supports FMI interface, same as 200 plus tools supports that interface. So we generate this FMI from Daimola. We have required inputs. If you go to the Daimola, you will see that actually this FMI is configurable, output number uh, is configurable. In our case, we just care about output. Also, we specify the port. And this is the, on the on this port, we will receive the data. And we are using UDP protocol. We could use uh, other protocols, but UDP is the fastest for us. Uh, and you can see here, this is uh, pin, this is port. Uh, this is uh, also in between. We have uh, running s Python script in order to connect to serial port from Arduino and uh, pass the data to UDP. This Python script you can also get from us. Um, we'll find that in community. Here is the Python script. Uh, the Python script could be uh, incorporated into the Arduino code just um, it might uh, require extra effort to add that code but uh, what it does is actually connects to the serial port again and translates the uh, UDP signals uh, on port on which FMU is listening so as a result we get uh, uh, Arduino sending 100 milliseconds delay data every 100 milliseconds we have python script at the same uh, intervals reading for data and then we have fmi with the step of 100 milliseconds and katia magic running the same step and you see here data is coming so we can change uh, layer 
here we see it in the camera we'll put the camera here you see uh, the first number is the horizontal axis of this analog joystick second number is vertical axis and then buttons digital buttons we convert transition between zero and uh, and uh, one so this is python script running so you execute that python script how to execute it pretty much like this you just take it uh, and say python name of the python script and that's it and you run it starts running and reading data so arduino code uh, is here uh, python script uh, is here fmi fmu generated from the molo file is here which you add to katia magic like this and you get fast communication this this is really the fastest communication uh, out of the box you can get uh, why it is important because for example in this scenario with the joystick uh, you want to achieve that uh, data would uh, be not delayed when you control so I want that it would be like smooth, right? So this is exactly what I achieved with this interface. And you see that we can click on pretty much any buttons at the same time, no problems in the interface. Again, we could try, you know, 10 milliseconds, you know, I haven't tried it, but um, this should, uh, this has potential to have even faster communication. And could be also bi-directional so this code specifically is one single direction we could have bi-directional interface uh, now what you can do with it so for example let's take another sample here we have this uh, uh, reactor uh, sample actually it's still running simulating for a few hours already and here we have a robotic arm inside let me move it here. Let me move it uh, the magic here. Let me run this sample. Here we have this UI. Here we have. Uh, here we have. Uh, you see um, uh, each axis of this robotic arm inside of this uh, CAD moving. It's eight uh, freedoms. Uh, robotic arm in the vacuum of this. Uh, fusion nuclear reactor servicing this reactor in the vacuum and now if I will move a joystick let me move the camera again here if I will move the joystick you know you will see that uh, I can control this robotic arm you see I move into it uh, here this is the first axis I'm moving it uh, and then I can uh, stop uh, with buttons I can stop uh, each of those joints from moving I can use the signals to stop but I also can use here yeah, just buttons and then with this one I can move this direction you see and with this one I can move this direction. At the same time, I get requirements verification because every tool, like here, yeah, robotic simulation, can do the verification based on the specific of the tool. For example, collision detection. This one, if I'm running in the loop with the demola, I can have uh, physics of the robot speed, uh, power consumption, and so on. And if I have those requirements, uh, which I want to check uh, through the scenarios. I get that information out of this uh, cost simulation. Again, all the interfaces are FMU based. So here we have the situation what is currently between the joints. And here you see I can move it. Uh, and I can move it this way, this way. So for currently it just directly connects to the 3D CAT and robotic simulation, virtual robotic simulation app. Uh, but we could connect uh, through physics, like for example, the mall and so on. But uh, the core capabilities is FMU and uh, now we achieve that FMU connection through CAD, through the, um, to the hardware, FMU to the hardware, which allows us to control. 
about the car. So all joints are moving, not even not all joints, but almost all joints are moving and we can you see here rotate some of them and uh, go to the required scenario controlling uh, controlling manually. Okay, so all the information we'll find in the community post with the files to reproduce and let us know if you'll have any questions.